Well, hello everybody. SPC Cranford here. What you see in front of me is a pretty funky package, but don't worry, it wasn't shipped like this. It was inside this box. In here, we have a magnetic mount anemometer wind meter by InSpeed in new condition. So, without further ado, let's open it up. This was purchased um, because this spring and summer and fall, possibly, I am. Uh, I'm going to be going storm spotting, and I needed a reliable anemometer on the vehicle to give me accurate wind measurements. So, here it is. Let's open it up. Pull everything out. Here's the anemometer. An anemometer measures wind speed at the surface. So and you got these two massive magnets on the bottom. So this will mount on the vehicle. And the wind will make this thing spin, which will give me an accurate wind measurement. It has this very long cable. And it connects to this, um, what looks like, you know, the, the your bicycle meter to tell you how fast you're going. But in this case, it's used to, uh, uh, to show you how fast the winds are going. So, yeah. That's the unboxing. I'm going to do a uh, setup on the vehicle right now. Alright, talk to you guys later. Alright guys, I am back and I uh, installed the InSpeed magnetic mount anemometer to the vehicle. So let's go take a look at it. Take a look at it from the front. Sorry, the I have the sun in it because it's the only place where I can get uh, wind to actually blow through the uh, instrument. But here it is, as you can see. It looks very well made. The ma magnetics, the magnets, in fact, excuse me, let me just climb up here. The magnets for this unit are extremely strong. So you don't have to worry about this thing um, flying off while you're flying down the road. Um, the installation process for this unit was extremely easy. What I did was I opened up the sunroof here, and it came with this massive wire. As you can see, this is all the, this is all the cable, cabling. This is all of it. And um, it hooks up here. Let me just get in the vehicle again. Hooks up here to this, um, what looks to be like a bike type, uh, you know, speedometer. You know what, let me move the car, because we're in the flipping sun, and this is bothering me. to get in the uh, shade here. This will be better. Alright, there we go. Um, let's just step outside again real fast to show you. So there it is. Um, there's a strobe going, by the way. I made a separate video on that thing. Let's so get back in. As I said, I wired it through the sunroof. This is all uh, temporary, meaning that this can all, you know, this you can take this off and take it out and all that. So I did that, and I hooked it up. I mounted the uh, the um, the actual sensor here, um, and as you can see, it's giving me uh, real-time wind measurements uh, from the roof anemometer. <coughs> um, simply by connecting these two cables. So if I were to take this out, like that, it's not going to give me anything. And as you can see, the anemometer is currently spinning. But if I put it back in, like this, then mile per hour starts flashing and the time starts flashing. And you'll get to see some wind measurements. Oh my god, there goes my strobe light, damn it. Okay. Almost clonks me in the head. So right now there's no wind happening. So you're not really seeing anything. Let's see. Once this thing starts to uh, move a little bit, come on.
There we go. Now it's moving. So let's check back here. Uh, that's a uh, almost two mile an hour wind gust right there. Up two point two. One point eight. So it also shows you these arrows. Shows you the direction, like if the wind's increasing or decreasing. Uh, let's see what this button does if we press it. The average wind speed is zero miles an hour. The max wind speed was 27 miles an hour. The uh, whatever that means. Yeah, that's that. So also, if I drive down the road, then you'll see that it, it um, follows the speedometer because if I'm going 20 miles an hour, this thing will show 20 miles an hour because you know I'll be going. The wind will be 20 miles an hour. That is on a very, very calm weather day. Um, so yeah, and I, again, as I said, this is all um, this is all temporary. I could take it all off should no one like it, which I I find it pretty good. It's in a good spot for me when I'm driving. I'll be spotting. Um, I just have to uh, pull over to the side of the road, look at the sensor, and see how flipping strong the wind is. And there you have it. So yeah, that's about it, guys go out and so you guys can see one more time and then maybe if we get some more stronger winds later I'll take it out and uh, we can uh, get a better look at it in action there it is see. again very very sturdy construction um, Another thing that it says on it, it's this way you just see it. Right there. See, it's vortex. Of course, you can't see that. There you go. So, yeah. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this. And I hope to get a few videos of this thing in action. Look, a bird. All right. So with that said, guys, let's see how strong this wind is here. That is a one mile an hour wind gust. That said, guys, I will talk to you guys later.